Okay, today we're going to do numbers, math, fun, fun, fun. Um, in particular, extremely large numbers. Okay, so if I were to ask you, uh, come up with the biggest number you can possibly uh, name. Um, it would depend how old you are. If you're in grade school, you might come up with something like a million. Or a billion. Bigger. If you're in high school, you might have uh, learned something about exponents, and you learn that if you write something down like this, you can write down huge numbers, in this case, uh, a Google, which is the one with a hundred zeros after it. You can write it much more uh, compactly by doing exponents. Um, some of you might even know stuff like uh, a Googleplex, which is a one with the Google zeros after it, which is a very, very large number. It can't be even written down on all the particles in the universe. But it kind of falls apart from here for most people. Um, if I say, no, 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 like even a bigger number, come up with an even bigger number, then you start doing things like, oh, well, a Googleplex times a million times a billion, plus this, plus and that, and you start uh, jamming a bunch of numbers together, trying to come up with the biggest one possible. And uh, this is really not a good way of coming up with big numbers. Um, you have to take a more systematic approach and create um, more robust mathematics to get to these huge numbers. So, um, we're going to start at the very beginning. It's always a good place to start. With the most uh, fundamental concepts, and um, you build from there. So what's the most uh, fundamental thing you can do? Um, I'll give you a hint, it's not addition. It's even more fundamental than that, it's called successorship. And successorship is basically you have a number, so let's say 3. The successor of this is uh, 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. So if we were to define uh, addition now, what would addition be? Well, addition would just be repeated successorship. Another way of writing this is 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 6. Now let's move on to multiplication. What is multiplication? It's repeated addition. So we have this, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 9. Now move on to exponents. 3 to the power of 3 is repeated multiplication. 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. And most people stop here. Um, most people, this is all they know, whatever, and when they come up with large numbers, they use a combination of these all together with the biggest numbers they know. And um, there's really no reason to stop here. Um, we can go beyond exponents. What about repeated exponentiation? So in this case, um, we could have like a tower of uh, three threes, and um, uh, this would be um, called um, tetration. And you can have a repeated tetration called pentation and whatnot, and you can come up with all kinds of symbols um, for each one, but um, there's a much better way of doing this. So to go further than exponentiation, I'm going to introduce something called um, new th up arrow notation. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. I'll write it down. Oh, I just tossed my sock in my glass of water. That sucks. Um, okay. Up arrow notation. My spelling right. Yeah, it's horrible spelling. Um, basically, this is a, a systematic way of going way, 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 way beyond uh, exponentiation. So, um, first, let's um, look at the notation. Basically, it's just a series of arrows, and we start with one. So, let's say a uh, three up arrow three. This is identical to exponentiation. So all we have is 3 to the power of 3, which is going to equal 27. But I kind of want to keep it as 3 to the power of 3. It'll come in useful later on. Um, so whatever you have uh, here, basically, it's, it's this number to the power of this number. Now, at the next level, uh, let's say 3, double up arrow 3, the rule changes a little bit. So instead of taking the exponent um, to this, it's going to be this many copies of this. So that same kind of recursion idea where the, the, this layer is recursion of the previous one, it's the same thing. So this is going to be uh, three copies of three. So let's write down those threes there. And we're going to separate those with arrows. So we're going to have three, up arrow three, up arrow three. And one important thing to know about um, if you have something like this, with uh, up arrow notation, you always evaluate this from the right hand to the left hand. Because you're going to get uh, a different answer if you do it another way. It's kind of like that bed mass thing, brackets, exponents, uh, division, blah, blah, blah. You have to do things in a certain order, otherwise it'll get all messed up. 
So, we already know what 3 up arrow 3 is. We calculated that already. It's uh, 3 to the power of 3. So let's just plug that in right there. What's 3 up arrow that? Well, it's just 3 to the power of this, which is 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. So what we end up getting is um, we get um, a tower of 3's, uh, 3 high, which is the exact same as... Uh, repeated exponentiation. So this will be that, uh, that tetration I was talking about, basically. This, this function does tetration. Um, okay, well, let's evaluate this, just for fun. Because I kind of want to know how big this is. Okay, so this would be, um, remember, always with exponents, you evaluate the top one first, and you work your way down like this. So 3 to the power of 3 is going to be 3 to 27, which is about 7.6 trillion, roughly. I'm going to put my little approximate thing there, not exactly equal. Um, 7.6 times 10 to the 12, or 7.6 trillion, so wow. Um, already, just adding one arrow takes us from 27 to 7.6 trillion, so that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, okay, so now we, we move on. Let's, um, let's do three arrows. The same rule applies, so we're going to have three copies of three again. So let's write that down, and uh, put our brackets in, um, and again, like, the, whenever we do this, we take uh, this many arrows minus one, and we, and we put it in here, so we have three copies of three separated by uh, this many minus one arrow, so if I had four arrows in here, it, these would be three arrows in here, uh, pr pretty simple, and this continues on uh, throughout the arrow notation. So uh, we already know what this is, right? This is this answer right here, the 7.6 trillion. So let's write that down. Times 10 to the 12. All right, well, what's 3, double up arrow, 7.6 trillion? Well, we saw that this is a 3 with um, a, a tower of 3s, 3 high, which means this is going to be a tower of 3s. Wait for it. 7.6 trillion high. Wow. Okay, that is amazing. Basically, um, this goes far beyond anything that you can say when you, when you try to come up with a big number and you're like, oh, a Googleplex times this to the power of that to the power of that. You'd have to sit here and say 3 to the power of 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 3 for tens of thousands of years to finish even saying this number, not to mention eva evaluating it from the top down, each number getting crazy, crazy big. And it doesn't even matter that these are just lonely threes or whatever, because it's not the, this number that makes a difference. If I were to change this to 100, it would barely change this number. That's how big this number is. And we don't even have to stop there. Um, I'm not going to have enough room, so I'm just going to erase this, so hopefully you've written that down. We're going to go three uh, quadruple arrow three. And it might seem a little arbitrary at this point that like you keep on adding arrows forever, but uh, there's something really special about uh, 3, 4, arrow 3, or whatever. I'm going to use it a bit later, so let's do 3, 4, arrow 3, try to get a sense of how big this number is. Okay. So this is uh, 3 threes, like before, and separate them with uh, this minus 1 number of arrows. So 3, triple up arrow 3, triple up arrow 3. All right, so 3, triple up arrow 3, from the previous thing, I'll maybe sure I left it up. Oh, uh, this was that tower of threes, 7.6 uh, trillion high. That's this number right here. So what does it mean to say three triple up arrow this? Well, three triple up arrow uh, three was three double up arrow three double up arrow three. So it was three, co three copies of three separated by two arrows. So three triple up arrow, this, not, not this, but like this, would be this many copies of the three double up arrow operations. So we'd have something like three, sorry, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the view here. Uh, three double up arrow three, double up arrow three, double up arrow three, continuing on, not 7.6 trillion times, but a tower of three, 7.6 trillion high, that many times. So that is like mind-boggling big. So um, how would you even evaluate this? Well, let, let's say we start here. I'll write down one more just so we can... 
So again, we evaluate this from the right-hand side. We know that 3 double up arrow 3 is 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3, which is our 7.6 trillion. 3 double up arrow 3 is our tower of, of uh, 3s this high. The next function is going to be a tower of 3s this high. And the next one is going to be a tower of 3s this high, blah, 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 blah. And you do that function this many times. So that's like, I, it's impossible to even get like an intuitive sense of how big that is. Um, you can kind of write it down and get a sense of what the, what the process would be, but it, it really starts to rapidly break down after this. Like if I were to put five up arrows, I don't even think I could come up with like a way of visual, visualizing it in your head in terms of towers of exponentials and stuff like that. It really um, is quite mind boggling. So I'm gonna stop there for this video and we're gonna use this number here to construct something really cool. I can erase it off camera, I guess.